It was silver whiting. Nice. On the cockles? Yeah. G'day guys, so today we're out on the end of the break wall at Wallaroo, just out um, from North Beach. Targeting really salmon today, but there might be some bite catch. Um, Sean's with us, say hi Sean. Um, he's already wound in a couple of um, uh, silver whiting, so and he's got a bit bigger rod, he might throw out one as a live bait. Um, for me, just running a, a Paternoster double hook rig that will, uh, so I've got two, two three-way swivels. And then the hook's a larger hook and a keeper hook. We'll probably use some squid and some pilchards to start with. Uh, we've got out in the water there a big burly block of pilchards. And I also made some um, salmon oil um, infused croutons for the fish or, or soaked bread for a bit of burly. So we'll see what that um, brings around. And we'll come back, we've got some action. So these are the tentacles from the nine squid I caught over at Point Riley in the last video. So we're just going to use that for a bit of bait and see if we can entice some uh, salmon and uh, go from there. So just going to bait these like you normally would, say, a pilchard. It's going to go through there, oops, see there, all the way through. Turn it around and just go through the bottom here. So it's like a strip bait. And we want that sort of bigger hook. Oh, this is probably a little bit too small a bait maybe to do this with, but I have done it on the other one quite successfully. Let's push that through. So we want that barb hanging out quite well and then we um, yeah bring that we want that to sit fairly flush and then bring that keeper hook probably to the eye of that first bigger hook we might get there eventually old man Matt come on there you go make sure we clear the clear the hook and then just up near the top just going to put a half hitch around the bait so you can see that you can see that hanging there quite like that and it's actually got a barb coming out both sides so let's get that in the water and see if we can catch something running the 12 pound taz line 12 pound osha f leader and then we've got 16 pound actual rig now it's time for that hook up my hooks might be too big that's going to be potentially my problem if they're those little whiting because i really am targeting some salmon we're definitely getting some bites so I just stuffed around with the burley bag a little bit and we think that there could be a fish on the end of... Yeah, we've got something. It's a fish or a crab, I think. It's reasonable, whatever it is. Got a bit of bend in that rod. Uh, it's a crab. It's a nice bluey, mate. You ready? Oh, <laughs> missed him. That's all right. <laughs> this is Sean. He is... Uh aka Steve Irwin at pulling catching things by his hand don't fall in it's not worth it got him got him wow wow he's getting you is that he'd be legal awesome good job well that's the second catch on the new T curve I actually threw the belly bag over my line and by the time I'd got it all off, oh yeah, yeah, that's a really good one, nice. By the time I got it all off, the line suddenly straightened up again. I went, oh, is there a fish on that? But no. So just going to try the Slippery Dog um, 80 mil, see if we can't entice a couple of these salmon. Just going to try it on the uh, on the three to six TT. It's only a tiny uh, swivel rather than a fast catch because I was planning on fishing with bait today. This is a bit heavier rod than I had last time, Sean. This is a three to six, so it probably is not that it has to cast very far, but it's probably not gonna cast very far. So we changed the hooks over to the Gamakatsu size six long shank, and we finally caught our first fish of the day. I think it's just another silver whiting a tiny one. Oh no it's a tiny king george <laughs> that's a baby king george so we can't keep him for a livey oh oh shit he'll work his way out yep he's gone 
yeah tiny king george so hopefully mum and dad are out there it'd be nice uh, came out targeting salmon it'd be nice to go home with a bag of king george well we didn't catch much of that <laughs> but uh yeah i had the tea had the squid out and the line just went under the rock a bit but um sean was able to salvage the situation good size one this is a different way of crabbing <laughs> that's a monster uh wasn't too sure whether i had one or not but he's been on that for a while he has got some battle scars there on the inku glow tiger but uh, yeah nonetheless good to get a couple of squid with just the rig out there um doing its thing so we got a bit excited there and forgot to hit the record button uh just a small tommy on the um bubble float with the uh, gamakatsu hooks um probably going to you know fill it him up and actually uh, put him out of some bait uh, on the other rig and see uh, if maybe some um, fresh tommy gets a few more bites with some other fish well we just caught another tommy there seems to be a few out just off of here um, i don't know if you can see the the ball float out there i had to go to a slightly bigger bubble float um it's getting some bites and you know we might catch five or six tommies they're not huge they're probably only about 18 centimeters not even 16 to 18 but hopefully as the tide comes in this afternoon a few bigger ones might turn up i was literally about to put the rod down to um, give that burly bag a bit of a shake and literally as i went to put it down this guy jumped on i mean they're just edible if you get enough of them uh, but i've got to go back up there to put it in a bag oh these tummies aren't getting any bigger Just uh, not much action at all. Not sure if you can see out there, but that float is going under consistently. Let's hope this time. All right, it's very strange. Might even put a squid jag on a rod because I don't know what else would be dragging it under. <laughs> Unless it's fish just attacking it with the S-Fact. <laughs> that is super strange. The camera ain't gonna do it justice, but uh, bloody long climb, high climb, back to the car. Not a bad session. Could have been better, could have been worse. A couple of squid, a couple of crabs, a few little tommies and salmon. Didn't get those big salmons we wanted, but anyway, it's fishing. Catch you next time, guys.